Hey, what's going on, guys? I figured I would do another video real quick on something that has been a project that was on the back burner and it's back on, and I love it very much. And um, I, I was I wasn't planning on doing this video, but I was looking over at the saber and I was like, I'm gonna do a video of it because it's not installed, but um, I want to talk about it because because <laughs> I love it. Uh, I have been wanting to do a claw tooth type saber for a long time and um, I did I had one 3d printed and it was awesome um, by a buddy of mine uh, on an Etsy store and it was a really cool pommel um, I broke it it was just a 3d printed piece uh, I forget what it was made of but I was like oh crap and then um, I wasn't really sure what I was doing and then my buddy um, Dylan from uh, Dembic Relics he always asked me about it. He would like message me and be like, when, what's, when are you done with this one? What's going on with this one? He always sent me a screenshot of the, of the hilt I did like a long time ago. It was like almost a year ago. And I was like, I don't know, man. It's sitting in my scrap bin. Uh, I'm waiting on getting the urge to do it again. And he was just like, he got to the bottom of it and he was like, hey, um, JR can print you one. And I was like, really? And then I started asking him some questions and it's for MHS, which this is a full MHS build. And then... Um, I talked to JR, and um, who is awesome, by the way. I've been meaning to hit him up for a long time because he makes chassis and stuff like that, and he does a lot of really good, good work, too, and I always heard him from Dylan, and I know about him through the community and whatnot. But, yeah, I hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, you mind hooking me up with one of those? Uh, he made a tooth pommel for MHS, and I was like, I need one, man. And um, it was the right specs. It was exactly what I wanted. And um, he was like, all right, cool. It's, you know, it was like $40 or something like that. And he shipped it like the next day and I got it in like two days. It was like I got it like seriously like two days later. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I checked the mail. I was like, dang. Got right to work on this saber. Excuse me. And I'm glad I, I'm glad that Dylan pushed me to do it because it's, it, it turned into something that I very, very much enjoy. I am a fan of this saber. I got a lot of compliments from it. Lots of people were very, very nice to me about it. I was like, thanks, appreciate that. Um, so I want to I want to show it off right now, mainly because I want to let uh, everyone know about um, JR and his 3D printing services. Um, I hit him up personally, JR. I don't know if you have a page or anything like that. Um, I know he's one of the smuggler guys, I think. But um, yeah, I messaged him and it was awesome. I plan on getting plenty of stuff. I've got stuff in mind <laughs> also if you're up for it, JR if you're watching, to um to print off. I got a project that I was like, oh well, now that I hmm <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like the wheels started turning. So what this is, um well first of all, this pommel is solid. It's some kind of like resin ABS this thing this sucker is it feels it feels good it feels pretty gnarly it's sharp <laughs> it's sharp on the bottom this thing's got a point to it so i painted it it originally comes with very white like gosh porcelain look i guess very very white tooth look um which is just a natural print and i painted and weathered it with various acrylic washes and um and shoe polish. I like to use shoe polish a lot. It really, uh, really does it up for me. So I opened it up. Jr. Uh, recommended, you know, putting some gashes in because there are no uh, sound venting holes for this. There is a hole already for you to have retention because this slides right over the body of an MHS, like an MHS pommel or what have you. Um, so I did a gash in here and then one kind of up top and then a little one right there. And I feel like I should probably open it up some more, so I'll be doing that later on. And I kind of want to paint like there's like some blood or something like that maybe on there. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but the other thing that I did was, okay, so this, I took a lot of heavy inspiration from the Ben Solo hilt. I know may might not see it, uh, especially since I covered up some of them. Uh, some of the like shroud work that I did in there has like three sections where it's like a milled section down and down and then that there so that was going to that was like my Ben Solo hilt inspiration and then 
obviously uh, it's it's inspired by the Force Relics uh, Wampa Claw. Is it a Wampa Claw? Um, I've always wanted that Wampa Claw. I never thought it was really cool. So that's what I went for. I was like, all right, flat. Uh, I did um, I did my own take. Like I said, they have like this shroud that goes over the Wampa Claw, and the Wampa Claw actually goes all the way up in there. And then it like attaches, so it's this long thing. So this is just a tooth, um, kind of like the Starfall does a lot of Rancor tooth sabers, and I am a huge fan of the Rancor tooth sabers. And I definitely want to, to I wanted to get one from Nick for a long time. Nick, you do fantastic work. Starfall, the Starfall sabers. Um, go check out his Facebook, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Um, oh, I don't have a Facebook page. Instagram and YouTube mainly. Um, he has done hundreds of uh, found part sabers. Um, good guy, awesome dude, total inspiration. Um, but yeah, he uh, he he he. That's the first time I saw this, like a tooth saber type thing, and I was like, that is super cool. A couple years back, and I've always wanted to do my own take on it. Obviously, I wanted to do something a little different than a Rancor tooth saber, and so like I said, I took a lot. Of, this is heavily inspired by. Um, you know, Nick's work with the Rancor Tooth, uh, uh, the Force Relics Wampa Claw Saber, and Ben Solo Saber. Um, I wanted to make the body, because this is just an MHS body that's about four inch body, I think. A four inch body, and then um, a emitter from the Custom Saber Shop, because again, this is all Custom Saber Shop parts, that I actually chopped in half. So it's a very short emitter, give it that stubby, short... Um, aspect to it and then I used two of my KRS flagship shrouds obviously some people will notice that right off the bat for the sides because after a while I was like man it's something's missing and then I was like I want multi shroud multi layer shroud this sucker so as you can see there's a shroud and then a shroud and then the body and it gives it just this these layers and it made it a me able to play with it kind of like Ben Solo's saber or Kylo Ren Saber is like that, so it did made it a little thick. She's a thick, it's a thick boy, but I but I like it. I like it a lot. It looks cool, especially from right there. Like you can just see, it just has all this, all this stuff going on all the way down. Oh, and then I got a one replicas low profile switch uh, clamp box switch box, so there'll be a tactile in there and tactile there, and they're perfect. These things are so cool. And then cover tag. And um, yeah, I just uh, cut it with a pipe cutter or you know a miter box. Cut that. Dremeled out these two slits to give it these kind of thin sections, which turned out I like it a lot. I like that this has like multi-layer to all of it. Like that's something I was really wanting to keep. See how everything's got these lines that just keep going. And I love how this worked out. I never planned on this until I was looking around and I was like, it's missing something. And I took the shrouds off the KRS. And I was like, man, that actually lines up perfectly with the box. It hits the box. It hits the shroud. Comes up from here. And then I have these already made that are inside that layer. This comes up. It's the top. And then... This actually has, you can see there's there's a small slit in between there, and then this line comes up here and matches that line. Gives it that, that gives it that, that gives it that. There's just there's layers to it now that I am just a fan of. And then not long ago, I was fooling around with it. I gotta watch my eyeballs, I'm gonna stab my eyeballs out. Uh, I was fooling around with it, and I was talking to my scrap bros in my group chat, good friends of mine, I'm sure you guys have heard me rave about them very very talented saber makers of their own um dylan joss daniel and um and i was like what do y'all think because i had a bunch of blade plugs um jeff over at hexic sabers a friend of mine um we got together one time and it was a, a total blast we had dinner and played with lightsabers and it was my first and only meetup uh well aside from celebration i went to the uh, the year before um but it was a lot of fun and i and i, and I cherish it a lot jeff you're an awesome dude but before I met Jeff, I bought some. Uh, I bought a Neopixel blade plug from him, and he gave me a bunch of extras because he got a lot from the scratching den. 
uh, deal that went dirty. He got like 11 pounds of blade plugs. So he hooked me up, and I haven't found any use for these. This is just, I like my blade plugs to be a little simple, but how stinking perfect did that turn out? It's like it was made to go in there. It's just like the design, the design gods were with me. Because I didn't plan that. This is literally like something that I found out two hours ago. I was like, okay, this this now looks like a crazy freaking opening of just craziness. And I can't wait to see a light through it. To see what it looks like. So, yeah. Um, I guess I can take this off and show you guys. So, drill the retention screw. little button head screw and then that slides off there it's nasty on the inside obviously because I painted it but you can see that white is what it originally comes with so it sounds like that and then I got just a four inch body so yeah this was just all MHS and then JR's beautifully printed tunnel back on so very very happy with this um i can't wait to install it i got a golden harvest v3 coming in from my buddy joss i'll throw her in there and we'll get all kinds of fun going on but i just i wanted to show it off in a video oh my gosh that's right before it was installed and um, just kind of throw out a little tease there. Very comfortable. Even two-handed. Like I said, a little thick up on the top end. Like me. <laughs> um, yeah. I love it. I love it very much. I'm so glad Dylan was like... And he would do it randomly. Like every couple weeks he'd be like, Yo, hey, psst, what's up with that build? You, uh... <laughs> Because he loved it. He was like, this is such a cool, like, um, mix-up of parts. I got another one, too. Another scratch, uh, or, yeah, well, found parts uh, curb saver that I should probably get to work on someday, too, since I kind of gave up on it. But, um, yeah, I just want to show that off real quick, guys. That pommel is awesome. I love it very much. A little, a little on the dangerous side, but, you know, as long as you're careful, it'll be good. I definitely want to start getting a couple of these. Um, I'd love to do a scrap flex version of it, but for now, um, this thing is one of my faves. As soon as uh, the custom saber shop gets a lot of pieces back in stock, get some shroud material back in stock, I definitely want to play with another one like these. I mean, that's just it's fun. This is all MHS, MHS body. Shroud material from MHS, MHS emitter, and then this pommel from JR, and then well these these uh, these shrouds aren't MHS. You can easily make them out of sleeve material. Super shiny. But there you go. All right, guys. Thought I'd do just a real quick video on this before it gets installed. Honestly, I'm just antsy about it. I want to have it installed right now. I've got all, almost all the parts. I just need switches. Yeah, I just need switches. And then, um, and the board. So, we'll be getting crazy with that. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for letting me talk about my build. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, definitely very much looking forward to installing that one. And, um, yeah. Alright, cool. Looks good. Alright, thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video.